Rubik's Cube. Have you ever tried to solve this puzzle? You feel frustrated just because you can't solve the puzzle. I know, I know. It challenges your techniques, your skills, and also the eagerness to solve it. And it will give you an overwhelming happiness when the first time you're being able to solve it. Here's a question for you. How smart you have to be in order to solve this puzzle? Okay, you see, there is this idea which has been roaming around that only people with the highest of IQ can solve a Rubik's Cube. While technically, solving a Rubik's Cube is something that everyone can easily learn how to do with a simple practice. Hi, I am A186192 Sulaiman B. Ilyas and I have been playing this puzzle since 2015, which is during my high school era. Also, I have been studying about the history, the mechanism, the community, and mostly everything about Rubik's Cube because it's a very interesting thing to study. And now, let's hear a brief history about Rubik's Cube. It was invented by Enno Rubik. He's an architect and also a professor in the University of Budapest in Hungary during 1974. Technically, it was created to help their students of Rubik to easily understand the concept of three-dimensional special relationship. But do you ever wonder, does Erno himself know on how to solve it? Hmm. You guys think? Actually, no. Erno Rubik took months to solve it. According to Rubik's themselves, it is estimated only 5.8% of the world's population can solve their own Rubik's Cube. So, today, I'm going to persuade to my audience on why we should all learn to solve a Rubik's Cube. Okay. Rubik's Cube is certainly a puzzle that anyone can figure with just a little practice and patience with yourself. It also comes with many good benefits as solving this puzzle requires your brain to work. Not only your hand, but your brain also needs to work to solve this puzzle. There are three main points that I will be highlighted in my speech today, which is the first one is solving a Rubik's Cube will help you sharpen your brain, especially in the area of the muscle memory. This is because solving a Rubik's Cube requires your brain to memorize some algorithm. Next, it will help you to develop problem solving skills as there are many ways to solve it. And lastly, Solving a Rubik's Cube will boost your cognitive power as you are constantly challenging the brain to achieve the fastest time of solving the puzzle. So, I will begin by telling you the first reason on why we should all learn to solve a Rubik's Cube. As I mentioned before, it will help to improve and sharpen the brain. Solving a Rubik's Cube can help improve muscle memory as it requires the repetition of specific hand movement in order to solve the puzzle. Also, solving a Rubik's Cube requires the use of the same neural networks that are involved in the formation of the muscle memory. Additionally, the study found that the more a person practiced solving the Rubik's Cube, the more efficient their neural pathway became leading to an improved muscle memory. <laughs> now, we just talked about the first reason. Let's move on to the second reason. Your problem solving skills will be developed. Such a good thing, right? So, solving the Rubik's Cube can be a challenging task that requires the use of the problem solving skills. This is because it also requires the use of the various cognitive processes including the special reasoning, working memory, and planning. Furthermore, a study found that the more a person practiced solving the cube, the better they became at solving other problems that required similar cognitive processes. Additionally, there are many, many methods to solve a Rubik's Cube, which is each of them requires a different problem-solving skills and strategy. 
So by solving Rubik's Cube, it will help you to develop a different problem solving skill. Not only one, but different. Now that we have talked about the second reason, let's move on to the last reason on why learning a Rubik's Cube, learning to solve a Rubik's Cube will help you become a more productive person. Solving your Rubik's Cube can be a cognitively challenging task that requires the use of problem solving skill, special reasoning and memory. By attempting to solve the puzzle as quickly as possible, it can lead to an increased cognitive challenge as the brain is constantly working to improve and achieve a faster time. This can help improve cognitive abilities such as attention, focus, and also can build your concentration. Also, lead to an, of, lead to an overall improvement in cognitive function. Additionally, as you become more experienced in solving the cube, you will be able to perform it faster and more efficiently, which can be a rewarding experience, which is very, very cool, right? Fun fact about Rubik's Cube, the average person takes about three hours to solve their first Rubik's Cube, while a speed cuber today can solve it under five to 20 seconds. Now that's a second interesting fact, right? So all of this Rubik's Cube study was conducted by researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, and the study was published in the journal Frontiers in Human Neuroscience. So in conclusion, Rubik's Cube is certainly a puzzle that anyone can figure with just a little practice and passion with yourself. It also comes with many good benefits as solving this puzzle required your brain to work. So now that you know that you don't need a high level IQs to solve this puzzle as everyone right now can solve their own Rubik's Cube. Last, before I end my speech, I would like to ask everyone to learn to solve a Rubik's Cube today as you will find yourself more productive and cleverer than before. And I will end my speech with a demonstration from me myself. Alright, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoy my speech.